Let's do the time warp again. Ronnie? What are you doing here? So, you gonna tell me what you're doing here? I was just doing some thinking, man. You ever wish you could go back to like a happier time? A better time? A warmer time? Like that time we shot the Chaplin Golf Bag Review. Bro, that's not out yet. Tapping golf here, and today we've got something special for you. Uh, we don't get a lot of these in. Uh, we got a golf bag from Chaplin Bags. Uh, I was lucky enough to, to spend some time talking with Henry, the founder over at Chaplin. Uh, he's gracious enough to send us a bag that we can review for you guys, uh, take a look at and see what they're all about. And, uh, you know, Henry and his wife just bought a new house, so congratulations, Congrats. Henry. Big step. Yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. So Kenny, tell us a little bit about Chaplin Bags. Yeah, so Chaplin definitely prides itself on you know their quality, ingenuity. Uh, the, the name and the logo are deeply rooted uh, in, the, in the history of the game of golf. If you're a, a golf historian, yeah. as Ronnie and I like to think we are, um, <laughs> Depends on the day. you may find this pretty cool. So the name Chaplin itself actually comes from uh, the golf course architect Henry Chaplin, or uh, better known as H.S. Colt in uh, most golf course architecture circles. Um, so Henry Chaplin actually had uh, a really strong influence on a lot of golf course architects at the time, right at the, the turn of the century, Alex, the likes of Alistair McKenzie, Donald Ross, mm -hmm. Um, Stanley Thompson, a number of others Big names that, there. that took inspiration from a lot of the things that he did, even right down to the logo itself for yep. Chaplin comes from uh, one of Colt's first designs, the uh, Rye Golf Club, where every every year they hold the uh, President's President's Putter Tournament, and the, the winner of that tournament actually hands over their ball in exchange for a medal. And another, uh, another great thing about Henry and his family is they really like to give back one of their big causes is gender equality. Um, you know, he, he grew up around the golf industry, so he's, he really saw as a junior golfer that golf is a game that brings everybody together. Can, anybody can play golf, oh, and yeah. anybody can enjoy it. Everybody's on the same level playing field, and that's something that Henry and his family want to pass on to the next generation. So yeah, so, um, so, yeah, so enough, about, enough about the company, and enough about us, and enough about the, the product itself. Let's actually open it up. Let's see what it's all about, and let you guys see as well. Get this thing unboxed. Let's go. It's a big box. Um, <laughs> as Ronnie's getting this uh, unboxed here for us, as Ronnie's getting this unboxed here for us, um, did want to give just a shout out to Henry and his team. Uh, as, as two people who have made their careers outside of golf in the sales industry, um, they were tremendous to work with, excellent customer service. I think that's one of those things that goes overlooked a lot of times, especially if you're working with a large retailer, large manufacturer, sometimes you feel like a number instead of a person. These guys really had that personal touch, made it super easy to do business with and work with. So, yeah, huge have, shout out there, best in class. In yeah, Henry, Henry was great all the way through. So, um, all right, so now we finally, finally got this bad boy out. So let's let's do this. Let's go ahead and actually, I'm gonna spin this around. She's got something cool here. So one of the things. Um, that Chaplin is very good with. And it's just going to kind of balance here because it's too big for the table. We're not going to do that. So I'm going to turn this around here. So there you go. You guys can see it here. Um, one thing that Chaplin is really good with is embroidery. They have a number of styles. You can use your own logo, uh, many different fonts, whatever. You add that in with all like the, the leather grain detail, uh, the waterproof canvas, everything else, you're, you're, you're absolutely every single time going to get a one of a kind bag from Chaplin. And I think as we were already talking a little bit about the history of the golf, you can kind of see just from a style standpoint, this is something that has deep roots in just the, the history of the game and the, the leather trim and the way this is built. We have the uh, almost like velvet top here. Some really cool, like, uh, this molded gold feeling here on the, the straps and the chains that hold this thing together. Also with modern touches, carbon fiber legs for durability and support. 
Um, so just a really excellent feeling, quality made bag. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's, you know, what more can you ask for with the bag? It's, it's kind of one of the, the hybrid bags that are out there right now that everybody's heard about. So it's, it's designed to be a cart bag, but also it's light. It's only five pounds. You can carry this around. It does have a stand. So all good things. Um, plenty of pockets. The zippers are waterproof uh, for the apparel uh, and accessories pockets. That way you don't have to worry about any of your, you know, your phone, your clothes, whatever, getting wet. Um, it does have a pouch here that uh, does have a little bit of a cooler lining in there um, for your for your beverage that you're using. They do um, offer single and double strap. Yeah, so so you can you know this is customizable. You can take one off if you want, and that way you just have the one strap, or you can leave them both on and do the cross two strap as well. So it does have this nice Velcro here as well. So if you are going to use this as a cart bag, you don't need the legs for the day. I'm bad at Velcro. Can Pretty smart for to wrap these guys in here so that they're not getting jostled around in the golf cart yep. there. And while he's pointing that out, this little this little thing here, what that is, is you set your umbrella in there. It's an umbrella holder. You set it down in there, and you're ready to go. So, but yeah. So, I mean, so far, it, it checks every single box for me. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw my clubs in here. You don't get a chance to to, to put yours in this one. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna throw my clubs in if I like it. This one's I'm, I'm gonna hang on to it. I like that this even has a shoulder strap guide. Red stitching means it's for your right shoulder, so we can see that again. Oh, nice. The attention to detail at every at every juncture here so there's nothing worse than having a two-strap golf bag and you can't get it on right and you're walking around looking like a ninja turtle <laughs> <laughs> i hate looking like a ninja turtle <laughs> oh before i forget not that not that it, not that it matters that much but we do have it's a nice touch there it matters if it rains i guess it does <laughs> matching rain cover it, oh this is that I take it back, it matters. The zips better than any rain cover I've ever seen. <laughs> That's no joke there. This so if you if you aren't seeing what I'm doing here is when this goes on, it actually has a two-sided zip there, so your clubs are just completely open there. Most of them have the single zip. Yeah, and it's terrible front. and it's annoying and it's hard to get your clubs in and out. So this that's a nice, nice touch there. So again, like I said, let's load it up, let's get it on the course, let's see what we got. Well, that was quite a review those guys did. That was us. That, that was us. So if you stuck with us through uh, that, we really appreciate you uh, hanging around. Uh, let's wrap up this review here. Chaplin Golf and their bag. Um, I'll start with just saying it's a super cool bag, super traditional look. A lot of great uh, detail, the, the brass couplings and, and rivets. Um, and the embroidery work was top notch. Um, so I would just say if you're in the market for a new golf bag, don't waste your time, don't waste your money at the big box retailers. There are companies like Chaplin that put together a quality product. Uh, definitely go check them out. There are a uh, number of options, make great stand bags, great cart bags, um, but just a very cool bag overall. Um, since Ronnie stole the bag from me and I didn't get a chance to use it, he's been using it. For a little while let's toss it over to you see uh, how you feel about it yeah it's been great for me i really really like the traditional look that was right up my alley uh that was probably the main reason why i stole it is because i, I just really like the look of it um they did a good job on the embroidery our logo looks awesome get a lot of compliments on that if i could change one single thing about the bag this is my only critique is the pocket where the uh, uh range finder goes the strap on your golf cart goes right over top of it so it's tough to get the range finder in and out so usually i just take it out for the round and then put it in at the end but that would be the only thing i would change is make that more accessible uh besides that um i believe this this bag is probably tap in certified because i know you loved it even though it's not yours well, it's a cool bag um so it's tap in certified and it is it is in the bag it, it, is, the it bag is the bag because it's my bag now so that's a double stamp your double stamp and triple stamp you can't, you can't double stamp a triple stamp. Yes, you can. They see double stamp's a triple stamp. You so, can't double stamp a triple stamp. So please like, share, subscribe. Do all the things that you guys do to help us grow. You're going to want to be following us because we got a lot of exciting things coming up. You hit me with the mean mug. Seriously, though, <laughs> if you aren't following us, go follow us. Go share our stuff. Spread the word. You're going to miss a bunch of great lessons, apparel, clubs, all kinds of cool stuff. Some big announcements coming up as well. It's going to be a big 2021. We'll see you soon. Tap in. Ow.
Well, that was quite a review those guys did. That was us. It was a few months ago. We weren't as good then. <laughs> no? 